Hey, what's happening guys? We're here with Jordan Lake. He uh, built this race bike for Blake Wharton, who's standing behind us here. We'll introduce him in a minute, but tell us a little bit about this. This guy, I'm going to yeah. go as far as to say this is the nicest XR200 I've ever seen. And that, that Thanks, man. coming yeah. from me, that, yeah. that, I, and I've seen a few of them. This is absolutely stunning. She's beautiful. Tell us about it. What's the, what's the component level on it? Like, what did you... Um, yeah, yeah. So, um, we had Mickey Dunlop uh, build us a custom motor. Oh, Some he's the best. There. Um, we love Mickey. And that, that's where the power plant's coming from. We got some trick stuff in that motor. Um, my dad, Brad Lake, used to race pro back in the 80s, and so that's one of his works, factory works WP shocks from wow. his 480. I'm running 1988 CR250 front forks, um, all resprung by, well, I did the work, but it raced tech suspension. I'm running a 19-inch rear wheel, um, CR125 swing arm. Uh, there's been frame modifications to handle that in the rear, um, lighten it up. Um, just some, some bar mounts and stuff. We got Motul to help us out with some parts. Um, but we, I built the whole bike in, in 17 days. Um, Can I hire you? Yeah. Get it <laughs> and done. bring you back to the museum with us, yeah. please. <laughs> I, found a, I found a guy that had a 3D printer at home and actually had these parts made off a 3D printer. Um, there's over 100 custom parts made uh, yeah. in the house just to get the bike put together. Um, like the conversion from disc to drum brake. Okay. And, uh, and it feels great. You can ring these things out. It's one of the most fun bikes you've ever rode in your life. I'm uh, running a 400 CR400 or XR400 oil cooler. And uh, yeah, man, Blake will rip it tomorrow. You watch it. It'll it rip. is absolutely gorgeous. I don't know if, the, if, it's, if I can pick up all the details. The lighting's not that good here, but we'll get some oh, shots frame, tomorrow morning. Dude. It's, it's, it's a, a custom kind of painted a gold uh, flake. If you can get a piece with the sun. This is just fantastic. The fit and finish. Uh, is is incredible and you've got the cartridge forks on the front which are probably the best yep. uh, conventional forks ever made you, you, you've got the engine built by probably one of the best air-cooled Honda guys Mickey's the best he, he built factory level he built bikes that beat the factory oh, teams. Yeah, Mickey's dude. the best so I can only imagine how much fun and you said a couple of key things how much fun it is you know it's insane you and can hold it wide open out of shape and that, that, that's why we're doing this right because it's fun and you put the CR120 the swing arm it's kind of like the calling card for the bike for me because it makes the XR200 frame well, look like a, something more modern. There's a CR500 right there. Yep. Look how tall the uh, XR is next to it. They're it, almost the same height. It's fantastic. And that, that's one of the taller bikes uh, yeah. and bigger bikes ever made, there, the CR500. So 17 days. Uh, guys, Mickey Dunlap, Four Stroke Tech. Look him up. Super cool dude. It was a $400 parts bike and a tote. I am There's very, tote. very impressed. <laughs> and the shock, too. I, I put a WP shock on my 86 CR500. It's like light years better than the original Shawa. The shocks sucked back then, so the, uh, the, the, the stock on a shock, but they had killer forks. And once you put that shock, that swing arm, and this forks, I can only imagine what a hoot it's going to be to ride. And some of the things you didn't mention, like this, these foot pegs, major upgrade yeah. over the XR pegs. Um, the fit, action. Just the fit and finish is, is, like, especially on the engine. Look at that. I mean, the whole bike, every nut and bolt on this thing is... It looks like a factory XR200. It's just awesome. Guys, you, you may not recognize him without a helmet, but this is Blake Wharton, uh, one of the top pro riders in the country, recently retired. Yep. How, how old are you, Blake? 31. So you're here at Daytona, I'm guessing because of what he mentioned about this being fun. Yes, yeah, right. It and, is fun. And, and you're pretty pumped for tomorrow? Excited, yeah. We've always done Daytona, you know, in the past, but it was super cross only. And that's, you know, that's pretty serious business. So uh, we never got to really see Bike Week the way you would like it done, right? So we wanted to give it a shot. Of course, you hyped it up a lot, so we had to we had to come out. I'm glad you're here. Yeah, but we had to make sure the bike was, was right and tight. And Jordan did a great job with the build. Uh, Mickey Dunlop as well. So um, it'll be fun, kind of. Uh, time machine to the past a little bit. Have you got much time on the XR200 to get dialed in? No. This one's obviously fresh and brand no, new. this one's fresh, brand new. We raced uh, Diamond Dawns. A friend of mine had a really good build for that. And uh, I don't do a whole lot of riding just during the week anymore. So, um, but we figured, hey, just show up, wing it, wing and ding it, and uh, have a good time. That's what that's what they used to do. I can't wait to see you uh, out on the track with this thing tomorrow. We'll try to get you XR lovers out there, yeah. some killer footage of Blake Sen in it. Um, I predict at least a podium finish, and if you win, I won't be at all surprised. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll see.
it's all good fun anyway. The track's perfect for this kind of bike because for the vintage day, they tone it down. It's the same track layout as the Supercross, but they take some of the jumps that you couldn't jump on a, on a, a XR200. Well, we have enough run. We make it, we can make it hit a finish line jump or two on Supercross track. Okay, just be safe and have fun. Anyways, thanks for coming out, man, and sharing this with us. I can't wait to see you out here on the track tomorrow. Yeah. We're here at Daytona in the pits, having a great time. Up so we can hear you a little bit better. I don't. I don't have my rig out here. I just caught. We just caught Blake pulling in. I was like, man, I gotta talk to him and, and check this thing out. Look at the coated hubs and pro taper sprocket. Beautiful chain. Can you fire it up? I'd love to hear it run. Yeah. I, I, I think. I think the guys that have stuck with us for the fr this far. It's like, an air, it's like an old airplane. You gotta spin the prop to get it going. Freaking awesome. Even the coating on the forks yeah, he is says, he says I can't beautiful. More compression than the CR500. Are you serious? Yeah. Hey, hey you, you know Mickey Dunlop built a monster, but he's bringing a boot out to start an XR200, but I have mad hey, respect for Mickey. He's been around game. forever. Mick, Mickey's, Mickey's been building these since the 80s, so he's... This yeah, is a... Open up that gray tote and get me a funnel. I'll go as far as to say Mickey Dunlop the Tom Morgan of two-stroke engines. He's been around, oh, four-stroke engines. Like, Tom is known for building the best two-stroke engines. Mickey builds the best air-cooled four-stroke motors, I, I believe, on the planet. Um, he's been doing it for a long time. The coat, what kind of coatings are those are on the on the head? I think he, I think he's air-coated. It's freaking beautiful, man. Really nice. It's almost, almost, I hate to say it, but it's almost too nice to ride. <laughs> and we got, hey, Motul stepped up. Darwin Yeager, the national director of the Motul Motorsports two-wheeled uh, team here. He's sponsoring the 200 event. He's helping Blake out. And uh, it's going to be pretty, pretty cool. Got to fix that. How much time do you have on the build? Have you been ridden? 17 days straight, 10, 13 hours a day, so whatever that comes out to. I'll have to, I'll have to yeah. grab a calculator, but seven, what's 17 times 13? It's, it's a whole lot. <laughs> Over 200 hours. Oh, hell yeah. Fill in the jungle with sound. Two hundred. I ever heard. Sounds freaking awesome, guys. This is not your grandfather's XR two hundred. <laughs> this is. Uh, I want to put it into perspective, okay? If you had to hire a shop with a guy like him to build a bike like this, 170 hours at even 80 bucks an hour, let's, you're looking at like, I don't know, I don't have a calculator, but that's like 15 grand in labor. Obviously, the bike's not worth that much, but what the point is, unless you got a guy like this guy who can spin wrenches to this level, I'm sure Mickey's engine build had to be several thousand dollars too, I would guess, right? Yeah. So Talk to Mickey. He's got stage one, two, three, and four kits for these bikes, and he has them already ready to go. He can build you a motor quick. What, what does he charge to do? Is this a stage four? Uh, it's close. He, he knew he knew Blake was riding it. He, it's Blake's a used stage one point five. Yeah, so like Blake's used to running factory built two fifty four strokes. So this will, I'm sure he'll have no problem handling this. But uh, hopefully it'll be uh, the uh, the right recipe to make it happen. It'd be nice if he got a little bit of practice time in on it, like. Yeah. Maybe, uh, too bad you couldn't go to Pax Track and have them air it out, you know. Yeah. But uh, really excited to see you guys on the track tomorrow. Thanks for sharing this with us. Stay tuned. We're going to have some more footage of this kick-ass Mickey Dunlop engine four-stroke. Thanks for watching. And God bless America. Oh, wait a minute. I, I can't sign off without looking at this, this 500 here. Who's running the 500 tomorrow? You're running the 500? It's freaking awesome. I guarantee a whole shot after that. I don't know. But no, I guarantee the whole shot. No, no introduction needed on this bike. Is it, do, you, do you do your holes, holies in third gear? Or? Third gear. Oh, yeah. That, yeah. yeah. How much do you weigh? 
165, You're getting the whole shot, yeah. <laughs> hey, if you don't get the whole shot, it's because another Sierra 500 got the whole shot. <laughs> you know, uh, there's a few of them out there too, some fast ones, but. I'll walk in front of the gate for them. Yeah, I will. Is this um, is the motor built on this? Is this Motor's a built. Uh, I bought that bike like eight years ago, and Mitch Payton, I had called him before this 500 Crazy. Know, epidemic happened. Yeah. And so a lot of the head work and the pipe, uh, all was factory GP500 racing stuff that oh, he pulled shit. off the shelf. So You're kidding me. There's That's, some cool stuff. So this is a Pro Circuit Works motor it's in this? It's a Pro Circuit Works motor. I want to ride it. <laughs> yeah. It's like, I haven't dynoed it. This bike's been dynoed. The XR's been dynoed. I've dynoed more CR500s than anybody but besides Mitch, probably. Would, it, it's definitely like 65, 64. That's insane, man. Yeah. Hang on. <laughs> yeah, nuts. Yeah. You don't want to do a Larry loop out on it. Wow. Can't wait to, to, to hear this thing on the track, too. Stay tuned, folks. Lots of good, great footage coming. Tomorrow is the day we've all been waiting for, the Vintage Day. Thanks for watching, and God bless America.